Recently stopped eating meat last fall, good man, and I am trying to eat as healthy as I can at the moment. It's cold though. <laughs> Ooh. Hard in the cold, hard in the cold. But do veggie soups and stuff like that, uh, lightly steamed, and wrap up. If you have low thyroid, kick the thyroid up. That'll warm you up a little bit. Uh, I've been eating lots of fruits every day, coconuts, berries, melons, bananas, etc., etc., along with salads, spinach, kale, cucumber, peppers, and tomatoes, and things as almonds, cashews, and seeds. I would get rid of the last three, although they, they're kind of what you want in the wintertime, of course. It's kind of what you're polarized to. Remember, the nuts come, come due in the winter, just in time for the cold, so that's that little protein kick. Uh, it'll warm you up a little bit, a little stimulation there. Yeah, but we're detoxing. So it's hard. It's hard on all you guys. So you get through the winter the best you can. Spring's coming. Thank God. I'm wondering if you could tell me your opinion. What are some essential things I should be consuming regularly if I play basketball often three times a week? Weight lift three times a week. And like a hike, the big coastal mountains up here. <laughs> well, I think it depends on your state of health. And I don't say that lightly because you want to get a picture of your eyes and look at your state of health and see what's going on. Look at your hips, look at your knees, you know, look at your kidneys, make sure you're filtering because there's two ways we can go here. If you don't go too aggressively, you'll, you'll keep your weight, you'll keep everything. You can, uh, you're going to see some muscle shift, especially if you're off of proteins and you're doing veggie uh, aminos. Uh, I think the green drinks are going to keep good muscle on you, although I'd make sure you add the parsley and when the dandelion comes in, add them because you want a little kick over to the kidneys and adrenals. But uh, keep that in there with uh, fruits, let's say, always for breakfast. You always want the fruit breakfast, no matter what. You all try that for a month and then try just going and eating something else and you'll see what I'm talking about. Messes with you. You know, the fruit for breakfast, the key thing. If you're detoxifying, you've got to go deeper. Understand the two sides of that. But you're doing pretty good. I get rid of the proteins, though, the nuts and the cashews and all that, because that way you're going to do both. You're going to get well, detoxify at the same time, maintain a certain amount of weight and energetics. Because when you start full bore detox, your body shifts its attention to cleaning and healing itself. We're talking about consciousness here. Intelligence. So the body's going to shift and heal itself. <laughs> That's a natural thing. Detox is a natural thing and a natural process. Maybe it should be weird out on detox. Detox is nature. That, that's how nature does it. We're only following nature, guys. We're, 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 we're physicians that observe nature. Of course, we've learned chemistry and physics and how, how foods are made of those and the, and the energetics and all this and the magnetics and that sort of thing. Absolutely. But what if we didn't have science to tell you what chemistry is in there? What would you do? You would follow intuitively what is mama and daddy eating. Well, that's a big problem, isn't it, with the humans? Now, most of the other animals don't have a problem. They don't migrate that far out of their zones. Some do to get food in the wintertime, no question. But as a rule, in the subtropics and tropics, you generally the animals stay where they are, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I would just, uh, you know, take it easy that way. Uh, and if I'm wondering if you could, okay, if you know, I should be consuming regularly if I play basketball. Well, the thing is, you have to understand, once you get detoxed and you get non-absorption fixed, you get adrenal fixed, you get on a program and you get all this inflammation out of you, this removes obstructions to the flow of energy. So as a basketball player, which is one of, if I, I'm not sports minded, I mean, I can watch him, but I, I'm more up here. But uh, basketball was Indiana, was basketball, football, something when I grew up, you played in the backyard. Basketball, we took Indiana, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Oh, yeah, those are serious games. Yeah, there was fighting going on, just like a, a, what, the Super Bowl? <laughs> Well, it was a wrong play when you're right there at the yard line, right there at the goal. You just jump it over. You don't throw it. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I'll say this. Get these, these fixed. The fruit offers you the highest level of energy and endurance there is. Especially once you get the adrenals cleaned up. Because once you go into detox, everything kind of goes... 
because proteins are stimulants. I'm here to tell you. Matter of fact, when we get our website set up with the cancer cells and the normal cells and I get all that written out for you, you're going to see another reason why no proteins. Just what, what, what cancer cells have to deal with, what they find around cancer cells. We talked about that before. Excessive proteins or mucus. Ring a bell? Right in just what's going on. But they don't know how to understand that. We do. We do. And that's just what happens. Acids or proteins, for the most part, they give a bite back. And when it's intracellular acidosis, and then the mucus, of course, that, that's just a, a natural immune response to stop the problem. We're going to coat with anti-inflammatory lipids. We're going to stop the problem. But then you get lipid problems. Now, once you get that, the endurance... You're going back and forth down the court. The endurance is phenomenal. Phenomenal. The ability to jump. The ability to feel muscles that are stronger than you've ever felt. You know, it's funny. And I think Ian will probably testify to this, although he's building some nice muscles. But the energy that comes through these muscles, that's a big deal. And you can have little bitty ones. It's like this martial arts expert. He can put down big boys, bodybuilders, big boys. But, and he's just, he's getting that energy going. Of course, he's, he knows how to work it. But, uh, you know, you can, you can get some very powerful muscles. And you can feel it coming in. I felt it coming into me. I'm going, my God, I feel like my muscles are ten times bigger than they are. I can't even describe it. Power, baby. Strength, baby. But this isn't is a, a fabricated, in, in, uh, enhanced, uh, stimulated power you get with, with proteins. Uh -uh, you don't get the stiffy, bulky stuff. You get flexibility, you get strength, and you get quickness. Ah, quickness. Absolutely. I love it. Uh, but weightlifting. If you're detoxing, I don't recommend weightlifting. If you're not detoxing and you want to weightlift, talk to Ian. I, I wanted to show you some... Let me see. I don't think he would mind. Hey, Shannon, honey. Yes. Do you have pictures of Ian? Could you bring him in to me? Yeah. Thanks, honey. I'll show you a guy that I think, he's really got it down. And he's helping so many people. This is a good guy. He likes to hike in the big coastal mountains. Well, that's the thing. Endurance. Endurance. And uh, what about hydration? Another little thing, right? What dehydrates a person? Acids. What dehydrates you in sports? Not just lactic acid, because you're increasing respiration, because you're creating all the 